fabrication, uh, I did a lot of CNC work in this process. I, uh, Ted Bramble, one of the instructors here, started me off learning G-code, and he helped me with the first uh, writing program for the UHMW plate um, to design the bearing, and we kind of went through writing code for that, and but he kind of let me go after that, and I was kind of on my own. So I then had to learn how to use Mastercam and CNC, or, uh, and just learn all the commands and how to the tool change in the CNC machine. So I took right off, and it was frustrating at first. I, I had a few problems machining. I, I messed up on one, and I had to send it back, or I had to uh, order a new part, and had it delivered the next day. So. Fortunately, I worked the bugs out there and I was able to produce a new part. Here, uh, this, um, bottom left picture, I'm machining out the hole for the pump on the steel plate. I had to make two of these, as you saw in the drawing here. And this took a long time, uh, but it was, it was very nerve wracking and took a long time, but I learned a lot through this process. And um, the good thing about this code was, is that I could use the same code for the same uh, machining code for this one and the and that one as well. They just kind of, uh, it was the same, uh, it was the same process. I just need to change the coordinates a little bit. And I also learned Mastercam that really saved some time in the end. So welding as well, I had to weld the fixture. Uh, this is the, the main support fixture that houses the bearing inside. So. And then I had to use weld on hubs. I seem like the best, cheapest possible alternative that I could find. So here's assembly. Uh, as you, this is going to be a better, sorry, a better picture of the bearing. Here's the bearing inside. The UHMW plate machined out, and the steel ring outside the machine. This was um, the steel was made of, of uh, uh, mild steel called A572 grade 50. It's a little bit higher tensile grade of steel. So I basically overbuilt this. And, and uh, so as you can see here, I, I had to machine out a few parts for uh, two parts to be this steel ring in the middle was sandwiched between two other pieces of plastic. And then that piece of that whole assembly in there ran a separate sandwich of UH, UHMW plastic. <laughs> and then again, that was all bolted together in the uh, steel structure above. Testing, I wanted to do a lot of stress analysis testing on this fixture, but what was mostly important was were they able to increase their production time of a water pump? And in fact, they were. It uh, reduced it 75%. The water pump fixture uh, actually decreased it because it was two and a half two and a half hours to fill the pump, and I think they got it down to about 15 minutes, half hour or so. So it was, it was a lot less, and it saved a lot of needless steps for our pump mechanic. He, uh, he was always having to move it to one spot and then the other, flip it over, and do a lot of things to, to uh, that wasn't mentioned in the manual, and uh, it really saved him a lot of trouble. And he's, he's kind of an old guy too, so he's, he's wearing out. Um, so the budget, uh, Hatch and Kirk gave me a, kind of threw some numbers out at me at first. It was, I got everything from 3500 bucks to 4500 bucks. I kind of adjusted that budget and kind of came up with a round number. Um, it was, the better number was about 1700 bucks. And uh, just from what, all the parts that they wanted and kind of what they, what they wanted to what they wanted to see in the fixture as far as, as uh, budget wise. And I kept the cost 26% under. So they were really happy about that. Uh, one thing though that I might note, this fixture is not cost effective because they didn't include labor in it. So I, uh, I, don't, I guess that was the deal with us, no labor, but I have a job. <laughs> Uh, schedule, um, machining took about 150 hours, welding was, uh, that 
was probably the most hours um, she had to learn it and do it. So that took a lot, took a lot of my time. Welding and assembly, it uh, was pretty basic. And um, I actually spent a lot of time design, designing and, and, and analyzing because I, I went through several designs before I came up with a good one. So I've got over 500 hours in this project. So this fixture reduced their production time by 75%. It was under budget. It's not manufacturable, but they're talking about building a second one for their Houston office. And I'm totally up to the task, but the next the next step will be to optimize it, making it better, but still <coughs> that's a pretty good number for under, being under budget. So uh, I might have a little video here for you. This is uh, Jim Asselberg. He's our main pump mechanic. And, uh, I really wish I had all the experience this guy had. He really knows his stuff. And here's the fixture in the work. I have a lock fixture built in the gear right here. And I'll let a little bit of it in there. And I'll kind of skip the head here. So what he does is he tightens them and then he comes back in with a torque wrench and flicks away. And there he is testing, the, he's listening for uh, anything going on in the pump. Usually he needs to turn it listen for any scrapes or anything and it's a pretty good indicator whether the pump is built incorrectly. Any questions? <laughs> 